What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Welcome everybody to a start of a brand new era here on the channel with a brand new model airport series. This is going to be airports around the southern plains. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as we have so much to cover in this series ahead and I'm so excited for this and I hope each and every one of you are as well. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everybody. So welcome to airports around the southern plane so if you missed the introductory episode feel free to check that out as I go into all the detail you need to know but nevertheless each and every month we're going to cover one airport from around the southern plains region of the United States and today we're kicking it off over in northwest Arkansas with the northwest Arkansas National Airport XNA this is a really cool airport that I'm fairly familiar with as I keep an eye on what they're doing uh, as I'm a Tulsa native so it's really cool to see what's going on here at XNA and they seriously have made so much progress so in this series what we're going to do is as I explained we're going to talk a little bit about the history History of each and every airport we're going to talk about their air service cargo service military general aviation and those factors and then we're going to conduct an airport update so we're really excited for this and i hope each and every one of you are as well so let's go ahead and get started with those segments so let's talk a little bit about the northwest arkansas inter or sorry national airport not an international airport yet we'll see if they get there but the national airport and this is going to be x and a once again so this airport's one of the newest of the bunch this airport uh, commenced in november of 1998 to serve as a reliever airport to drake field which is south of of this current airport so very cool to see that in 2007 they built the new terminals facility that's going to be this main piece over here and it was a 21 million dollar project so glad that they were able to get that going and that was absolutely awesome and then in september of 2021 they added on this piece right here uh, to serve as some relief because they were certainly filling up the capacity here off of the pandemic with new air service and various other uh movements going on so that was really cool in 2019 the airport served 1.8 million passengers and in 2022 this airport served 1.6 million passengers so i'd expect by the end of this year that the airport is back to that 1.8 million peak so looking very forward to that let's talk a little bit about the air service here at the airport so allegiant air leads the way with the total amount of destinations here at the northwest arkansas airport allegiant has non-stop year-round service to destin fort lauderdale las vegas los angeles nashville orlando phoenix and tampa and they conduct all their operations here out of gate b2 as you see right there Breeze Airways operates nonstop service to New Orleans, Orlando, and Tampa. We'll talk more about their operations once we get there, but they park here at gate number one, or B1 rather, excuse me. American Airlines has also a healthy amount of destinations. They serve um, Charlotte, Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Gordia, Phoenix Sky Harbor, and Washington National, and they use gates A2, A4, A7, A10, and A12 from what I've seen online. So very cool to see that. We have Delta Airlines serving Atlanta and Minneapolis. They utilize gate A9 right there on their connection and uh, mainline operations. Frontier Airlines serves Denver and they also use B1 there where Breeze is parked. That is a year round service as well. And United Airlines operates service to Chicago, Denver, and Houston and they utilize gates A3, A5, and A6. So yeah, really excited for today's update. Once again, we have a bunch to jump into. Also, we have gate C1, C2 over here. From my research, I did not find anybody that is utilizing those gates. So again, we have a bunch to dive into today and we have uh, quite a bit of uh, really fun movements here at the airport. So let's go ahead and not waste any further time and go ahead and get started, everybody. Currently docked up right here, gate B2, we have this Allegiant Air Airbus A319-112. This is gonna be operating G43082 from Destin, Florida. This aircraft is coming in at, uh, or was scheduled to come in at 4.50 p.m., but is coming in at 4.29, so ahead by 21 minutes, and the flight time for this aircraft was an hour and 35 minutes. So Allegiant, once again, has that really impressive operation, again, going over their destinations. They have Destin, Fort Lauderdale, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Nashville, Orlando, Phoenix, Mesa, and Tampa, which is really impressive. I am very jealous, especially of the services to Nashville and Fort Lauderdale. Really, really great operation they have, and I'll go into a little bit more detail at the end with my thoughts. Obviously, we want to keep a pretty good pace going here, but I've been really impressed with what they've done here and they've had a really successful operation note there's no southwest airlines operations this is a pretty uh, decent sized airport colorado springs is smaller than this and i think southwest has like nine destinations there so every airport's different of course but no southwest here so it's pretty interesting to note but allegiant is certainly taking advantage here as you can see so that is absolutely fantastic to say the least 
At Gate Bravo 1, we have this Breeze Airways Airbus A22300. This is going to be operating as uh, MX110 from Tampa, Florida. This aircraft was scheduled to come in at 9.41 a.m., but it's way early, coming in at 9.13 a.m. This was a two-hour and eight-minute flight. Really cool how Breeze has been uh, very, um, they've sustained their operation really well here at Northwest Arkansas uh, compared to Oklahoma City and Tulsa. As you can see, they have Tampa and Orlando in New Orleans, which they kept uh, both uh, Tampa and New Orleans from their initial shuttle routes. Uh, they discontinued the San Antonio service. And then they, of course, added Orlando uh, earlier this year. So really cool to see what they've done here. And I'm very pleased with their operations and efforts here at XNA. And I'll talk a little bit more about them at the end of the video as well. Those two particularly, the rest of them are kind of different, but I'll certainly wait to talk about them here in a minute. Okay, so this is gate number alpha, I believe that's alpha one, and I did not find anybody utilizing that gate here, so pretty interesting. Also, let me know what you think about the apron design. I thought that it looked pretty clean, to be honest, for, you know, set up and tear down. So let me know what you think, but I think this will work really well for what we're doing here. Alrighty, currently right here, let me get the flight information pulled up. At gate alpha four, we have this American Airlines Airbus A319-132. This is gonna be operating uh, American Airlines flight 2430 from Charlotte, North Carolina. This aircraft was scheduled to come in at 3.45 p.m., but it's gonna be another early arrival here at 3.26 p.m. The flight time was an hour and 52 minutes. American Airlines mainline has a good operation here. They've always had a pretty consistent service from Dallas, Fort Worth as of late. That is not in today's update. Uh, they have kind of bounced around with their operation, but I'm sure the mainline will be back here in a couple months. But currently, Charlotte is the only mainline flight, and this is the only one of the day. Charlotte has several Envoy 175s a day as well. So, glad to see what they're doing here with the Charlotte service. And then, bouncing on over here to gate Alpha 7. Apologies, got to get the uh, flight information pulled up. Uh, getting used to this, so thank you for bearing with me. Here at gate Alpha 7, we have this American Eagle Ember EARG-175 on the behalf of SkyWest Airlines. This is operating American Airlines Flight 4894 coming in from the Los Angeles International Airport. This flight was scheduled to arrive in at 3.26 p.m., but yet again, another early arrival at 2.56 p.m., coming in at 2 hours and 44 minutes. So glad to see Los Angeles going well. Again, Allegiant goes head-to-head -head with American on this service. Glad to see that they've done really well in that flight. It's been really fun to watch what they've done here at XNA with that service, but it's been really cool once daily, and they're doing a really good job. So overall, a really cool service right there. Getting ready to push back from gate Alpha 9 over there, we have the Delta Airlines, Boeing 717-200. Delta Airlines is currently conducting their flight in, if I can find the route, sorry guys, from the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. This aircraft is uh, Delta Airlines Flight 2129. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 5.54 p.m., but it's gonna be arriving in at 5.38 p.m., coming in for an hour and 29 minutes. All flights from this update are from October 28th, 2023, which was a Friday. So glad to see Delta doing really well. They have two CRJs and two 717s as of right now, and they bounce around a little bit. So that's pretty typical though. So glad to see that they're doing great, and that's absolutely awesome. Once again, I did not find any operations for Alpha 11, which is kind of surprising. I guess American must put a couple planes on the hard stand per night, which is really interesting. So I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but it's certainly interesting to see that that is the case in this particular instance. Uh, apologies about the camera as uh, I'm trying to multitask here. But next on the list at uh, gate Alpha 12, which this is the newest gate at the Northwest Arkansas Airport. I believe this was installed earlier this year. Currently here we have this American Eagle Ember Ear G-170 on the behalf of Envoy Air. This is American Airlines Flight 4226 coming in from the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. This aircraft was scheduled to come in at 5 p.m., only 11 minutes behind, coming in at 5.11 p.m. The total flight time is an hour and 47 minutes. Uh, Chicago is American and United, very similar to Tulsa. They do a good job there. So glad to see Chicago going well there for American and eager to see what they can do with that in the future. At gate Alpha 12, we have a nice uh, house livery here for today's update, or sorry, Alpha 10. This is the American, e or this is the Republic Airways house livery Ember 175 that will be uh, utilized as an American Airlines flight. This is American Airlines flight 4554 coming in from the New York Gordia International Airport. This flight was scheduled to arrive in at 9.29 p.m., but ends up arriving in at 9.03 p.m., coming in for two hours and 54 minutes. It's certainly one of the longest flights from XNA, if not the longest. Glad to see that New York has been a really big staple here. I believe that this was added sometime in late 2021, maybe somewhere around there. It may have been a pre-pandemic ad, but nevertheless, it's been cool to see what they've done here with this service, and I'm excited to see where they can go from here on it. So really cool to see New York doing well, and that's absolutely fantastic. Okay, next up here at Gate Alpha 6, we have this United Express Ember Ear J-175. So glad to get United here on the board. United is coming in today from the Denver, Colorado airport. This is United Flight 4752. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 4.20 p.m., but ends up beating that at 4.09 p.m., good for an hour and 29 minutes. I believe this is three times a day on regional jets, so they do a good job. No United mainline here at XNA, which is kind of surprising because I thought they would have got Denver at some point here, but at this time, it's all regional jets. So we'll see what 
continues to happen here, but for the moment, United's doing what they do, and it's looking pretty good. So good job here by United for doing what they do best. And then focusing in here on Alpha 5, we have this United Express Ember Ear J-175, certainly the most common type here at XNA. This aircraft's currently coming in from the Chicago O'Hare International Airport as United Flight 4687. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 5.35 p.m., but ends up coming in at 5.31 p.m., hour and 34-minute flight time. Glad to see that United's doing well here with their Chicago service. Uh, I believe this is twice a day, so glad to see that they're doing good, and it'll be interesting to see where they go from here on that service. So looking very good there for Chicago. And then lastly for United here at Alpha 3, we have this United uh, Express Ember Ear J-175. Apologies as I'm trying to find the graphic here for this flight. This aircraft, if I can find it, come on. Apologies about the camera work as well. I know it's not uh, top notch yet, but hopefully I'll be able to get used to multitasking for it. If I can find it, I hope I uh, got the graphic. I know that I made it. I oh, It's gotta be one of these. Is it this one? Houston. Okay, I guess I put, um, okay, I put uh, one of them on here twice. That was my fault. I did, I forgot to change the gate on one, so that was my fault. But anyways, this is coming in from the Houston George Bush Intercontinental Airport as Flight United uh, 6208. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 4.05 p.m., but it ends up coming in at 3.48 p.m., good for an hour and eight minute flight time. So yeah, this is the re reliever gate here for United. United's main two gates are A5 and A6, but they do use A3 on the overnight as they do overnight one of each uh, from each destination. So cool to see Houston doing well there. Uh, I believe it's three to four times a day on the regional jets too. A couple of 145s also make it in X and A, but United's main aircraft type is the 175. A couple CRJ 550s from Chicago too. So ultimately a pretty good operation here and it looks really good. Finally gonna stumble upon Dallas here at gate 82 with this American Eagle Ember Ear J 175. This is operating American Airlines flight 3793 in for the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 3.48 p.m. but ends up arriving in at 3.59 p.m. Good for 46 minute flight time. Really quick hop, typically it is mainline over the summer, I think they may have had two or three daily main lines, but right now it is all 175. So what can you do besides enjoy the moment when you do have the main line? And the main line I'm sure will be back soon. So no harm, no foul to fear there on that particular service. And again, I'll be excited to see that coming in here in the near future. Okay, let me see if I can find, this is the problem with American having so many routes, I can't find the service that I'm looking for. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. I am sorry, everybody. I'm trying to, this has got to be it. No, what? This is, okay, this is it, okay. All right, so next up right here, we have this American Eagle Ember Ear J-175 taxiing over here to gate A2 as well. The American 175 right here at the gate is about to get uh, towed over to the hard stand for the night. And right here we have this 175. This is operating American Airlines Flight 3452 in from the Washington National Airport. This aircraft came in at 9.53 p.m. and is gonna be, uh, or it ends up arriving at 9.58 p.m. This is a two hour and 44 minute flight. One of the longest, this has been a really nice uh, addition. So actually a little fun fact here. Uh, U.S. Airways actually initiated the services to XNA for Charlotte and Washington National, which I thought was really interesting. So American actually picked both of these up. And then since I've added uh, the service to New York and the other services that they have, and there's one other big one. And unfortunately, I didn't get an additional American 175 in this video. So that was my fault, but I can actually put one in right here, even though it's not the uh, exact one that I wanted but I'll put it over here on the side and we'll take a look here at our next service here in just a second. So ultimately looking really good with that aircraft and that's looking really nice. All right, so now with the addition of one more American 175, we'll bounce over here and take a look at some additional aircraft in today's X and A update. All right, so coming in here to take the breeze gate once they push back, we have this Frontier Airbus A320neo. This is gonna be Poppy the Prairie Dog today. Coming in the gate Bravo 1, this aircraft is gonna be operating F9718 in from Denver, Colorado. This aircraft is scheduled to arrive in at 12.57 p.m., but ends up arriving in at 12.48 p.m., good for an hour and 16 minute flight time. Uh, this is the reliever since they obviously don't have any Southwest. Frontier came in here and did a really good job. Frontier has also tried Las Vegas in the past. That did not work, unfortunately, which is unfortunate because it would have been nice competition there for uh, the Allegiant service. So yeah, Frontier is doing well here. Still unfortunately they pulled out of Tulsa. I know it's a little biased, but uh, they still have OKC and XNA in the region. So they're doing what they do best and you can't complain when they're doing uh, what they would like to do there. So ultimately a good effort for them and they're doing a good job. Okay. 
Currently going over to sit on the hard stand until the American uh, A319 pushes back, which will be pretty quick here. We have this American uh, Ember Ear J-175 for this operating American Airlines Flight 4193 coming in from the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. This aircraft was scheduled to arrive in at 8.59 p.m., but actually arrives in at 8.41 p.m., good for an hour and 58 minute flight time. So this is a very new addition. I think this started in maybe January, February, March, 2023. Uh, it's funny because actually, uh, Breeze decided to go head to head with them on this flight, which I thought was really interesting. And that didn't last for more than like two months. It was gone before it started. So that was really unfortunate. The loads didn't look too hot. I'll look at the data when I get a chance, but yeah, uh, very interesting. But yeah, now Americans competing there with the Legion and who knows, maybe that'll be a Southwest route one day. But for the moment, they're looking good on that flight and glad that they're doing good. So they'll wait for Charlotte to push and then they'll overnight there at A4. It's interesting how it's overnight too. I thought that was another interesting component of that. So certainly interesting right there, but again, what can you do? One of the most unique parts here at XNA is their Delta CRJ 900 service to Minneapolis. And that's exactly what we have here with this aircraft. This is flying DL 3854 coming in, uh, scheduled to come in at 4.54 p.m., 24 p.m., excuse me, now coming in at 4.11 p.m., so another early arrival. Flight time of an hour and 37 minutes. This flight was initiated before the pandemic, I believe, and they've done a good job holding on to a daily frequency for it. So five daily flights for Delta, uh, and they never had SLC. It was always MSP to my knowledge. So pretty interesting there, but certainly looking good. I believe Delta also had Memphis at one point, so that was also neat, and Cincinnati too, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty cool. Taxiing out for departure, we have this Legion Air Airbus E319-100 once again. This aircraft's taxiing out for only one six left. This is gonna be heading out to the Orlando Sanford Airport. This aircraft was scheduled to depart at 10.23 p.m., but it's gonna be getting a late start here, leaving at 10.51 a.m., so about a 28 minute delay, but hopefully airtime can make up for that. And our leisure travelers heading over to Orlando, we'll still get in at a good time. So glad to see Legion's commitment, like I said, and we'll talk about them a little bit more here before we conclude today's video. Last but certainly not least, uh, here's kind of a freebie right here, if you will. We have this Breeze Airways Ember Ear J-195. This will be filling in for 190. I don't know why, but this aircraft was coming in from uh, Tulsa as flight MX-6329, uh, some sort of charter. It was scheduled to arrive in at 8.50 p.m. Ends up arriving at 8.32 p.m. Good for a 23 minute flight time. So I don't know particularly what they were doing there, but that was pretty interesting, I thought, and certainly looking good there for that aircraft. And yeah, that will do it for the Northwest Arkansas International Airport. Definitely one that I want to start with. Uh, first and foremost, I got to give massive respect to XNA. I've been really impressed with what they've done with their operation, considering the size of the airport and the area around XNA, with all the low cost carriers that they've been able to attract, in addition to Americans' commitment to the airport with their various destinations, and even the United and Delta support has been really impressive to watch. I really hope XNA can score Southwest. I think it would be a really quality addition for them. And as you can tell here, they do have some gates that would certainly be perfect for that. So X and A, I will root for you in that. And I certainly can respect that more than another airport in the region that we'll talk about at a later time. Um, but yeah, really impressed with their operation. Again, pretty jealous of their Allegiant operation, particularly with those additional services that they have. It's really cool to see that Fort Lauderdale and um, uh, Nashville are really awesome routes. So that's awesome. And of course they have Phoenix too, which is a really good one. In addition to all the other legacy um, Allegiant establishments and then Breeze keeping Tampa very jealous of that. It's a really good flight Very unfortunate ended at Tulsa, but we will try not to show too much bias here in these updates because uh, again This is the general assessment of the airport. They have a really good Instagram page and uh, they do a really good job with their website So feel free to check those out too But I think that they've done a really good job here at X and A and I'll be excited to see what they can do moving into the future So uh, Frontier service is also really cool. That's very nice to see so glad that they've been super successful with that and overall the airports had a bunch of traction in various ways and i'll be excited to see what they can do with it going into the future so i really hope you, you enjoyed the first episode here of these airports around the southern plains next update we'll be taking it over i'll already give you a hint so you know what it is it'll be out in uh west texas so start uh, thinking about what that may be and we'll check in in december of 2023 to see what that update will be Alrighty, everybody, real quick, I wanted to say XNA on their Instagram page made a really great short documentary regarding the 25th anniversary of the airport here in 2023. It was super good, and I just want to give that a shout out because it definitely deserves a watch if you get a chance. It's really cool, and they brought various board members and uh, staff members at the airport to talk, and it was absolutely fantastic. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this XNA update. What an awesome airport it is, and excited for next month's Southern Plains Model Airport. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Dredger of Aviation is signing off.